Now we are on verdict watch. A Gwinnett County jury is debating the fate of a former Doraville police officer, Miles Bryant. And Bryant is facing five charges, including felony murder and kidnapping in connection to the death of 16 year old Susana Morales in July of 2022. Now attorneys and state prosecutors have been going through evidence day after day. The state is also trying to piece together Bryant's initial statements from when he was taken into custody for questioning in 2023. 11 Alive's Karis Belger has been in court all day in Karis. Have we heard from the jury today? Well, about an hour ago, the jury came back with a question. They began deliberating at around 210 this afternoon. They asked for clarification about the term malice. This is in regards to the malice murder charge, and we are not the only ones here waiting for a verdict. Friends and family of Susana Morales are here waiting as well. They were also in the courtroom during closing arguments. Those began early this morning with the defense attorney, Tracy Drake. She argued it was impossible to prove that her client killed Susana Morales because there's no official cause of death and no clear proof her client deliberately intended to take the 16 year old's life. That's something the jury has to consider for the malice murder charge. Now, during his closing arguments, special prosecutor Brandon Delfont argued it was clear what Bryant did and what he is accused of and also what his intentions were. Plus, she's walking home after smoking pot Maybe something else, we don't know. I'll get to that in just a little bit. Is it unreasonable to think that he stops and says, hey, I got some edibles, let's go smoke some more, and her getting in the car. Asking you to look at the evidence, to use your common sense, and to see through the manipulations, and the lies, and the red herrings, and all of the other distractions that they're trying to throw at you, and look at the case and hold him guilty for the death of Susan Morales. Bryant is charged with felony murder, malice murder, kidnapping, attempted rape, and filing a false report. This is in connection with a gun that was found nearby Susana Morales' remains. A verdict can come back at any moment, and I'll be sure to keep you updated once I know more. Back I know to you're you. waiting for that, Karis. Think you know you've been there all week and heard from a lot of witnesses, two of who were actually law enforcement officers working Susana's case. What was it that was so emotional for them? Well, both of them mentioned that they had personal ties. In fact, Lieutenant Biggers mentioned that he has a wife who is Hispanic. He has a daughter who is Susana's age, and that's what caused him to break down on the stand. And when we heard from Detective Angela Carter, she mentioned that being a woman and seeing these crimes day after day, she could only imagine what it was like for Morales' family. And of course, that spurred her on to continue looking as well and getting as much information as possible during the investigation. Karis, thank you so much for following that for us. We'll, of course, wait for that verdict right now on our website. You can read the latest information in this case as we wait for the jury to come back with this verdict. Plus, more on what happened when Morales went missing back in 2022.